Idex community. We covered a lot of things in our past videos, explained you the basics of trading, for example, how to make profit by trading cryptocurrencies, how to identify scam coins. We showed you also how to uh, find the next profitable project to invest in and showed you a lot of functionalities on the Dextool platform, which you might have not discovered before. For trading in DeFi, you will need your own wallet. I guess most of you are using MetaMask and are quite familiar with it. We want to make sure that you know all the features, give you an introduction to the basics and show you other features like for example how you swap your tokens on other blockchains than Ethereum and how to fix a stuck transaction. Um, I will first give you the introduction and show you how to use other chains and then well, we'll go through all the other functionalities. Make sure you like our video, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell that you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Metamask is a decentralized software wallet for cryptocurrencies used to interact mainly with the Ethereum blockchain. So you can store your ESC20 token securely in your Metamask wallet. Users can access their wallet through the browser extension or mobile app and so interact with decentralized applications. The, well, let's call it old internet was kind of insecure. You are not under control of your data because surfing the internet can be kind of risky as credit cards are stolen and identities get hacked. It's nearly impossible to surf the web without being bombarded with pop-ups or video ads or being tracked by advertisers everywhere you go. Uh, well, the new internet solves this and Metamask provides the simplest yet most secure way to connect to blockchain-based applications. The user is always in control when interacting on the new decentralized web. The wallet keeps your data and valuables safe and there is a shield which protects your data from hackers and data collectors. There's a lot of things you can do with your Metamask wallet. You can use next generation applications with, which give back control to the users and the community, own your data, connect seamlessly applications and send money around the world for a fraction of cost. You can create new organizations with new currencies that bind communities together, vote, buy stuff, publish writing, hire freelancers, crowdsource projects and art, or invest in other people's creations. There are millions of possibilities. You control your own data and so you also control your own security. No more new passwords for every site you visit. You just hold a secret phrase, so-called private key, that controls all the accounts. Uh, this phrase is the login, the password and proof of ownership all in one. So you need to keep it as safe as possible. Metamask is not only compatible with Ethereum, it can be used with any other blockchain just by changing the RPC. The RPC Remote Procedure Call is a request response protocol. So that means it communicates with different blockchains so you're able to see and use your coins in the same wallet on the other blockchains as well. And this is how it works. So I already installed my MetaMask in the browser. Um, if you haven't done it yet, um, well, we'll show you in a minute how you do that. Um, here you see the different RPCs. So Ethereum mainnet is pre-installed. Also a few test networks. I already installed Binance Smart Chain. So if I want to switch um, to the other blockchain, I choose Binance Smart Chain and here I see my BP20 tokens. Um, now I want to add um, the Polygon network. So I go back here and I add a custom RPC. Here I need to fill in some data. Uh, so for this data, I, I will search on Google. So I'm searching for Matic RPC. And here I find uh, Matic network documents. Here it shows me how you configure Polygon on wallets, Metamask and configure Polygon on Metamask. So here it shows exactly how you do that. Um, this data you need to add the custom RPC. So I copy this here to make it easier. So network name is Matic Mainnet. Then the RPC URL, I copied it. 
chain ID is 137, currency symbol is Matic, and block explorer URL. And then I press save, add network, and I go back. So here it is, I have added the Matic network. Well, I have a special tip for you. Apart from adding RPCs manually, you can add them also automatically. For example, on uh, sushi.com, well, if you use the app and go to swap, you find this button here and you can add RPCs automatically. So for example, if I want to add the Phantom network, I just click on Phantom, then my MetaMask opens and it shows here already uh, the RPC. I click approve, switch network, and then I'm on the Phantom network. So I have added it to my RPCs. I hope I could help you a bit and now uh, well, we'll go on explaining you some tips and tricks how you use MetaMask. Thanks, Julie. I'm going to show you guys how to download and use MetaMask and you guys will be ready to start trading in the DeFi world. So I'm using the Brave browser. You can use Chrome, Firefox, Brave or Edge and you can also install MetaMask for your phone. Uh, it's an awesome phone wallet and then you can trade on the go as well. So you want to make sure you're on the right uh, address the right website which is metamask.io as we have it right here and we're just downloading the uh, extension right now so metamask has been added to brave use this extension by clicking on the icon so metamask is just loading up right now and then we're going to go and um, secure our private keys so private keys it's important that you never take a photo of them you never share them with anybody and you keep them to yourself anybody who has your private keys so we're going to set up a new wallet Anybody who has your private keys or your recovery phrase can essentially come here, import your wallet, and then actually take all your crypto. So it's basically your password for all of your cryptocurrency and you never want to share it. So MetaMask will always allow you to opt out via settings, send anonymized click and page events, never collect keys, addresses, transactions. So if anybody reaches out to you from MetaMask or any crypto team, they'll never, ever, ever ask you for your private keys, never collect your full IP or never sell your data. We agree to that. We have to make a password. So let's go ahead and make something up and then move on to the next step. Create wallet. And here is a video on how to secure your wallet. You guys can watch it. We're going to go on to the next step. So you want to pick a password you're not going to forget. If you forget your password, it's all right. You can actually back it up with your secret backup phrase. So I'm going to show you guys this because we're just doing this as a tutorial. There's, you know, no crypto on here. I would never, ever, ever, ever show anybody your private keys or show anybody my private keys. But for, uh, as a step-by-step -step tutorial and to show you guys it's all right. So um, here are the words just in case my laptop breaks you lose your phone whatever it may be you can't get into your wallet because of your because you forgot your password these words will um, restart your wallet they will allow you to have access to your wallet okay I've noted them down so we're gonna have to put them in order so they want to make sure that you actually um, you know wrote your private keys and in the right order and that you didn't kind of zoom by so you don't lose your funds so we'll just do this quickly Slap. Slap. Change. Your thumb. Okay, awesome. Congratulations. So we are all done with that part of setting up the wallet. And now we'll actually move to using the wallet. So this is the MetaMask uh, basically dashboard. This is what you'll see. It is out of uh, your native token is Ethereum. So up top here, you have all the uh, blockchains different blockchains right now we're on the ethereum mainnet you can add different networks like the binance smart chain network um, 
and then start trading them on uh, straight trading on there as well you have your account public balance right here so you have your public address right here if you wanted to uh, send yourself some crypto or share your address with a friend to send you crypto you could do so uh, by sharing by clicking here and sharing that you can buy cryptocurrency directly from metamask if you don't have any and then you can also send uh, if you have an address so we're going to send ourselves some crypto and then we're going to take a look at how it works uh, sending and receiving and this is swapping uh, you can swap in the wallet you don't have to go to a decentralized exchange like uniswap or sushi swap you can do it right in metamask right now in and out of any coin um, and then basically you have all the settings up top here you can create another account which we will do so right now and this builds on your secret keys so you don't need to you know write down the secret private key again it is the same uh, MetaMask account. You can import account if you have any private keys, uh, if you want to import an account from a different computer or from your phone, and then you can connect a hardware wallet here as well. So if you have a ledger or a treasure, I would recommend connecting a hardware wallet to your MetaMask and it would simply just add another uh, account here and um, I would show hardware wallet. So then you'd have one two and then the hardware wallet account and you can just kind of switch in and out of them and i like to have buffer accounts where i i trade on some of these accounts and then i hodl on some of these accounts and i'm you know buying or selling and minting nfts on other accounts so i like to separate them so we're going to do a quick transaction we're going to send ourselves some crypto we're going to send it to account one so let's copy this address let's switch over to the next metamask Let's send it over. You can see also, you can click here and add this as a contact address. So I'll, con I'll add that as Brave um, Wallet. So then I know every time I copy and paste it, I see that and I'm like, okay, I know for sure. It kind of gives me a little bit more confidence that this is the right address I'm gonna be sending to. So let's send it some crypto. Next, uh, gas is all right and it's sending off. Let's go back to this wallet and we should receive the crypto here. We should receive it any second unless gas is just crazy. Okay, oh, we got it. And then you can view your account right here um, on Etherscan. So if you click these three buttons and you can go to Etherscan and then you can view all of your account details on etherscan as well you can see we got 32 dollars 23 seconds ago and our last video was actually an etherscan etherscan tutorial you can add tokens right here you can look for as many tokens uh, that they have to offer ave link coin all of that so if there isn't a token that you that you want to buy you can co copy the contract address which dex tools has all of the contract addresses for every coin you're looking for so you can just copy and paste it in there and then add the token i believe also they have a feature where you can add it to your metamask right here yeah you can add it directly to your metamask from dex tools any token and then you can have it there to make sure you have the verified contract address and you're not buying some random token so it's just as easy as that all the information tools you need will be found on dex tools but it's as easy as that you can start using metamask you want to make sure you're downloading it at metamask.io and with metamask ready you are now ready to trade thank you for joining us today and we'll see you on next week's dex tools academy episode